It's Saturday, June 12th, Downs After Dark. These are the highlights of the long racing weekend. <laughs> It's Thursday, June 10th. I'm here at Churchill Downs beneath the iconic Twin Spires. Start of a two race day weekend and an excursion day tomorrow. Twilight Thursday today. Let's see how the day turns out. In the Thursday opener, Princess Nore goes right to the front under pressure from the five into the far turn. Round the far then, turn, Princess Dory has to fend off winds. Winds draws up alongside and Toyota Singh switches to the outside for the final quarter mile two. They're off the turn, Princess Dory something left, turns back the challenge of winds and opens back up. It's Brian says story now clear by four. One bet, one win. Princess story in the opener. One bet, one win. Round the far turn, Caber Toss holding on to an arrow lead. Allen is under more pressure, trying to keep up from second there. One, two, coming for the top of the stretch. Sacred Oath is down inside, taking over third. Top of the stretch, Caber Toss still in front. In front by two now. Allen is fully extended, but is still second. Caber Toss, At the quarter pull, Mischiefel turning for home in front, cut the corner beautifully, picked up a couple of lengths, clear by three. Fuate trying to come on from second, Capellia gives way, altered shot, duplicitous, blonde by nature, all chasing. Three across the racetrack, neither giving an inch. Glory Song to the inside in between horses is Candy Tycoon and a three wide X checker. Three of them at the top of the stretch and X checker is very resilient to the outside. Candy Tycoon is running a massive race. It's Candy Tycoon who's got a nose in front. X checker right to the outside, shoulder to shoulder. Glory Song not done either. Candy Tycoon maybe with a nose in front approaching the 16th. X checker to the outside. Candy Tycoon is very game. Candy Tycoon with a half length in front. X checker, Candy Tycoon. Tycoon, much the best. Candy. Less than a quarter mile to go. Our Destiny Paco Lopez, they turn for home. They've got a full length lead. Crack shot right to the outside. Now trying to split rivals. Here comes No Name, maybe. There's no room for mission. Wrap it up. Just had to tap on the brakes. Down the center of the course is Dubai Bobby. Our Destiny's got the lead. Trying to hold off No Name, maybe. Who gets closer? Our Destiny, No Name, maybe. Our Destiny, No Name, maybe. Our Destiny, very game. Just keeps finding, gets the win. Our Destiny, No Name, maybe. Unlucky third.
wish you were mine. Find somewhere to run. Has a ton of horse in the blue cap. Nowhere to go. Less than a quarter mile to go. Scat nap kicks on. Painter Fest in between horses. Wish you were mine. Heading home is right there as well. Four of them across the track. Painter Fest with a nose in front. Scat nap. Here comes the run from Wish You Were Mine. Who has room now? Wish You Were Mine has taken command with less than an eighth to go. It's Wish You Were Mine who sprints clear. Painter Fest scat nap. Heading home. Late run. Crown of Joy. Wish You Were Mine is now drawing away. Going to be geared down here. Running off for second. Crown of Joy. Just needed room. Wish you were mine. Much the best. Wish you were, timeless. Wish you were mine. Blows on by. One bet, one win. I picked four races, simulcast races, that I didn't really handicap. And the first one was the second at Gulfstream. Number two, Lost Leaf looked long gone in her second start as a two-year-old. Right to With a front. quarter of a mile left to go, Last Leaf has turned away all challenges but one as Volata is now the main danger on the outside. These two square off with 3 16ths to run. 46 and 1 for the opening half mile. Last Leaf roused on the top end and responding nicely. Volata made a long sustained run to get into second, but that's as far as she'll get as Last Leaf will deliver at 1 to 5. Last Leaf is in front. Volata. Racing finally returns to Woodbine. Today is opening day. In the second race, a non winner for two lifetime. I like number two, Divine Martha. Thought she'd go wire to wire, was off slowly. Do Divine Martha on the inside. Penetanguishing the outer, well ahead. Down the lane in front, Divine Martha and Penetanguishing. Divine Martha gathered up, gets out a half a length. In second placing, Penetanguishing, a gap of four or five Benavita, but now Divine Martha steps up and gets away from the opposition and has this race in keeping. Divine Martha out by about four lengths to the wire. Big win for Adamar Santos. Divine Martha by five. Paid nearly seven dollars. My third win today. The third at Woodbine, Juxtapose, looked to be the second or third choice behind number four director's cut, uh, and that's the one that went off the favorite, but I didn't like him because he never seemed to finish the job. Juxtapose split horses. Riding up in front, step. she's a dream, Juxtapose in second. On the outside, making a little bit his pilot episode, and down the outside is in the winner's circle and trying to get through director's cut. She's a dream under attack. Juxtapose ranges up on the outside, and director's cut finishing on now, but it's Juxtapose who got clear. Down the outside in the winner's circle, finishing well, and is the main threat, but Juxtapose well out in front. Juxtapose by a length and a half to win the winner's circle, and Juxtapose by a length in the winner's The fifth at Woodbine, Norma McKnight, known for winning early, had show me some skin. Was sitting on the rail, moved off the rail, split horses at top. Dixie, the, the good witch, wriggling home on the outside. Usher Ironborn next from show some skin, but down the home stretch and off the rail, classy and silent up the rails. Usher Ironborn poking through in third placing, silent Dixie and show some skin. Rafael Hernandez finishing well now on show some skin after the leader. Classy and silent in front, show some skin driving home on the inside. Classy and silent, show some skin, show some skin has won it. Class 70 and a head, 10 win. Stay at Woodbine. Stay at Woodbine. I was looking for my fourth win with Spicetown Churl, the best day at Woodbine. On the turf, made moves to come to stretch. Down the lane, dance with destiny, got away by almost three lengths. Now Spitestown Shirl is called on strongly and confident on the outside. Astrological flat to the boards. The leader coming back to them now. It's Dance with Destiny targeted by Spitestown Shirl and confident. The Roger Atfield pair and Spitestown Shirl drifting about in front. Out only a half, confident on the outside. Spitestown Shirl the leader and Spitestown Shirl in the front has won. About three quarters to confident. No, she's a winner. Triple bet.
run there and hunt. And I'm like, I got six six. Just picked up my fifth as another time came rolling on the Getting in front another time, another time. Out by two lengths to Fiduciary on the outside, trying to gather up. And Ramanda Oro, but another time full of run. Another time by two and a half lengths to Fiduciary and Ramanda Oro. A sixteenth to run. And another time holding them safely at bay. Another time too good for them. Wins by two lengths to Fiduciary. Th So right before they're heading into the gate for the first race is down at the dark here at Church or Down. Monmouth 13th and finale was about to start. I had bet the race earlier and I was kind of in a rush. Looked at my phone to see the pick, made the bet. Keith asked me about five minutes later, who's the bet? Three or the four? And I said, it's the four, Coworth Park with Paco Lopez, who's been struggling all day. So as they're walking to the gate at Church or Down, we're inside watching the TV. Monmouth, they break from the gate. The three goes right to the front. And I just, I just had a feeling. I reached into my pocket, looked at my ticket. It's the three. Oh my God! I bet the wrong horse. Three pugilists it's right pugilist to the front. To the top of the lane. Here comes the challenge to the outside from Coworth Park, coming after this front runner. Pugilist has got some kick to the inside. Pugilist, Coworth Park, Ella's Island. From the back, here comes Strong Gem, Champagne Horizon. It's still Pugilist finding up front with a 16th to go. Pugilist is fending them all off. Coworth Park, Pugilist. Pugilist is up. Pugilist, Jose Ferrer gets. That's five to one. Paid 12.40. Get over $60. Better to be lucky than good.